And I am sure you got them all right, all of you, I hope. And if you didn't, you'll get them right soon enough. So here are the quick definitions of each of these things. Impressions. One person seeing one ad one time is an impression. So, if I hear a radio ad or Seiko watches today, and then I hear the same radio ad tomorrow, how many impressions is that? Two. Okay. Reach unduplicated people who have seen your ad described as a percent of the total audience. Frequency average number average number of times each person has seen the ad over a four week period. Effective frequency. How many times do you have to see an ad to start to move down the purchase funnel? It used to be three. We used to say that you had to have at least three exposures to start to move. GRPs, gross rating points. It's reach times frequency. So typically reach, which is a percentage, you ignore the percentage, you just take the number. So if your reach is 80%, you just take 80. You got the percent. And if your frequency is 3, 80 times 3 is how many GRPs? 240. I know you got it. TRPs is rating points, but for a specific target. Circulation used for print is total readership. Ratings is used for broadcast. Percent of the total audience that is viewed a show. How HH stands for households. Monthly uniques used by internet equivalent of circulation for print. How many people unduplicated visited the website in a month? CPM. Cost per thousand impressions. And you remember the three ways to evaluate media types? Well, I need to ask you to sit down with a pencil and a paper and try to write that down. How do we differentiate between radio and outdoor and newspapers? Is it all the same? Is it all just one big bland thing? Or are there some big differences in terms of what they do and how we consume them, how effective they are at persuasion? Of course, they're to have different cost per thousands, don't they? Yes. Quality of impression. Quality of impression. Bunk. Measurability. Quality of impression. Sight, sound, and motion. Which does the medium have? Obviously, the more the better. Depth of sale. How much time is spent with the ad? Measurability. Can I really accurately measure how many people see the ad? Or even better, how many people do business with me after they see the ad? Avoidability. Yes, it's there. It's in the magazine. And for magazine impressions, by the way, normally uh, I just take the circulation. I assume any ad I run in. Anywhere in the magazine, everyone who subscribes or is in the circulation figure for the magazine has seen the ad. But guess what? That may not be the case. Not everyone goes page by page through a magazine and looks at everything. That's why magazine position is so important. The back cover, opposite the table of contents. What type of media has high quality impressions? What has lower quality? Let's just look at out of home. This is, by the way, a, a poster panel. This is in Canada. Patterson is not the home company in Canada. This is Canada poster panels are 10 by 20 feet. They tend to be on secondary roads, not on the big highways. So how good is this uh, impression? This is a campaign a number of my students commented on uh, in the spring um, for OK Cupid. And it is a what's called a brand train. It's the whole side of a subway car. There are a bunch of different ads on the top. And then even different ads uh, on the bottom there, those squares. So there's a lot to read and consume. 
if I just took one of those squares, I could probably look at the whole ad on my subway ride, you know, in 30 seconds. But given everything going on here, there's a lot to absorb. I spend more time. I'm in a, on a, in my car zipping by this. I have three seconds. Here, the average subway ride is, I think, about 20 minutes. Here, I could be reading this for five, six, seven minutes. 